Hi and welcome to another episode of Fishing Western Australia. Today we're going all over the state to bring you the best fishing action in the world, so let's have a look at what's coming up. On today's show, we'll show you our adventure with Jim Keogh and Unreal Sport Fishing Safaris into the beautiful Kimberley region of WA. I just love queenfish and a really nice specimen. Might be able to see the teeth there. Jim Keogh spends half his life guiding in the Kimberley and he's given most of the places he fishes their own unique name. This spot always produces big queenfish because of the rips, so Jim's called it Rip Rock. Now today we're going to be fishing these eddies around this Rip Rock as Jim calls it and Steve. There's just everything, everywhere. Queenies are everywhere. I've got some following oh, me now. They're mackerel. It's just place oh. is insane. Oh, the queenies, look at it, you fly. Well, we're going to keep oh, working around these eddies. There's going to be trevally, queenfish, everything. My heart's going a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> oh, shut up, catch a fish. Now this is really simple stuff. I'll give you a look at what I'm using. My lure is a javelin laser, 50 grams to get right down into that current. I've got a treble on the back, but I've crushed the barbs so we can release the fish. That there, that's a 40 pound coated leader. I've tied it to my double, the main line, and that's it. And we're gonna cast it down into the eddies. With a bit of luck, there'll be some big fish here. Yeah, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and he's going right into that current. There was just one lone mackerel and one lone queenie, and he chased my jig in, hung around, and ate yours and you dropped it down. Playing through, mate? But yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. Oh, oh, he's not bad. <laughs> mm, he's got that current. See, on his side there, he knows that you can't lift him up. I know. So he's gonna, just going to swim in that current. All right, now he's in the current. He's not going to see the old net coming here. Mm. Ah, <laughs> didn't see that coming, did you? Bit of a sneak behind trick. Very nice. Actually, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Too. Oh, yes, here we go. What a beauty. See him trying to bite me then? They're just such an awesome fish and they've got them big spikes. You might be able to see his teeth there. I'll put him back now, he's getting a bit stressed out. I'll just wash some gills over him. There we go. You don't need to spear them back in the water, they go straight back in and he's gone straight to the bottom. Marshy has always wanted to catch a big queen fish on fly. He's caught plenty of small ones in our travels, but that one big fish has always eluded him. This was his big chance to finally achieve one of his greatest ambitions since moving to the Kimberley, and he suddenly went all quiet. Oh yeah, man! Nice fish too. Ooh, get out of Oh no! Get out of there! Get... That's it, we're in the open water now. Oh, that's a queen fish for sure. Oh, just set the hooks into him. Oh, God, he's gone down the back. <laughs> oh, goody, he's gone into the current, Marshy. Yeah, they're good at doing that, mate. Oh, there's a big whirlpool. <laughs> oh, no. Jimbo, I'm in trouble. <laughs> this is great fun. I love queen fish. They got power, they got speed, agility, and most of all, aggression. Oh, he's under the boat. He's in the current. Just get your rod down the water so it doesn't touch the side of the boat because that'll cut you off for sure. I can see him under there, he thinks we're a fad. They certainly know the best way to get rid of you. They just sit down in the fastest water and use it against you. All that line I got back, I'm losing. Much you on up front there, mate? Uh, I'm just gonna put this, change my rig now. What I'm gonna do, I've got a bean sinker, only a small one, and I'm gonna, just going to crimp it onto the fly leader with this surf gun to stop it from moving. Just like that. Because this current's ripping out of here, 
and you just got to have a bit of extra weight to get down. Now are you going? Yeah, I'm actually winning. Got colour again. I may need you to net him because it's not a small fish. Nothing is small here. There you go, oh, get out of prop. You like a net. Isn't that a magnificent sight? Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the back of the head. Can you pull? Oh, Good look work, the size mate. Of that one. They're getting bigger. Oh, and now I've got the old Elvis arm going. <laughs> I just love queen fish. And this one is a beauty. Have a look at that one. There he is. <sighs> we got to work hard in this current, but I'm so happy. I'll pop him straight back over here. Spear him back. He'll be fine. See you later. Ten it's dead, ten it's dead. They'll come and have a look, they'll come and have a look. Give it a twitch. Ooh. Oh, you got it, you got yeah. it, you got it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> oh, let now all the it's go. on. Just take your time, that's it, you're on now. Okay. <laughs> Bring up the orchestra, let's go. <laughs> You know what, he's heading right for that rip too, and he wants a big. He's not getting it. <laughs> Always wanted a big queenie on fly. Now I've got one. He's, got no, he's going nowhere. The good thing about fly <laughs> rod that is that you've got this, such a great big spring oh, that you can hold on to it. Big time. Now we're at a stalemate. Come on. <laughs> Marshy was determined not to give the fish an inch, but he was about to learn the hard way that queen fish don't give up easily. Oh. <laughs> yes, that does hurt. <laughs> he lit you up big time. That does hurt. He's coming up too, I think. <laughs> two ways about it. Oh, he's got some mates with him, mate. Has he? Oh. Oh, I'll go. refrain from having a go at them, I think. Oh, oh. gee! Oh, Marshy! Could you do this by yourself, do you think? Do you need my help? Hold it. Refrain. Refrain. <laughs> I want to grab the rod. Yeah, his friend was very aggressive. His friend's still with him, too. He's still there? Yeah, the sand's on. Oh, well. There's two. <laughs> For a three piece rod. Yeah. Everybody goes on about two piece rods and one piece rods, this three piece, right. Just lift them. I mean, that, you can't usually lift fish with a fly rod, but you can with this one. Right, I've got news for you, mate, too. That's not small fish. Here we go, mate. You ready? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Don't worry. Okay. Are you ready? Oh. All right. He's Come yours. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you later. I'm going to go get a jig. Nice. <laughs> a great fish by anybody's standards on fly. And he's, he's a lot smaller than I thought he was. But even so, it's just sensational. How are you going? <laughs> I got his oh, friend, Mr. Mackerel. Hello, Mr. Mackerel. <laughs> it's like fish and chips, mackerel and ching, yeah, whatever. Okay, matey, good on ya. Thanks for that. Now we're out here in the Buccaneer Archipelago with Jim from Unreal Adventure Safaris and we're on the big boat now and we're going to drop to the bottom and hopefully pull out some beautiful big fish. Maybe even a bananas in pyjamas. <laughs> One of those, thanks very much. But we've just had some great lunch. We're going to take the tenders out later and do some more fishing but until then, Jim's got some great coral spots for some bottom fishing. It could be fun but hang on tight because there's some big fish down there. I reckon. Now when you're in the Kimberley, there's not too much to the old rigging process except plenty of weight because the currents up here in the Buccaneer Archipelago are enormous. You need to hang on that bottom. I'm using these Tainawa hooks, number 18s. These are really interesting circle hooks and I've got the black meat of some long-tailed tuna on there for bait. The fresher the better, any old bait will work but fresh is great. And a Paternoster rig, which is just simply these two loops, two hooks, and a loop from a sinker. It couldn't be any easier than that. But braided line helps too because you don't want any stretch. <laughs> don't drop the sinker on your foot. Or mine. No, or Marshy's. <laughs> we sort of hit it and run, don't they? That's a good fish. And Ooh. guess what? A bit close to the edge then. Guess what? You got me too. Have I? Yeah. It's going to be a tandem effort, this. 
Now, if you ever get hooked up at each other, that can happen a bit on charter boats, and there's a few people fishing. Just wind up with the guy you're fishing next to. <laughs> and abusing me at the time. <laughs> oh, there you go. Does this make it easier for you? Oh, see? See, how easy was that? Now, fight your fish without my help. Does it feel like a shark? It's not a shark. Oh, I'm on two. Oh, it's not a shark. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm on two. That's a saddle tail oh. sea perch. It certainly is, and a really nice specimen. Oh, oh. I'm on two, Marcy. Are you? Yeah. And actually, this one is pretty strong. It's gone on. You want on two surges, actually. I'm praying it's not Surge. a sharky boy. That is an attractive fish. Yes, it is. Oh no! <laughs> That's a nice old tailed sea perch, Marshy, but I think I'll just take two of them. Ah! I can't even lift them! It's like ducks on a wall. See? Why get one when you can have two? There's his saddle on his tail, look. We've got the whole family! See that? The little dark patch? That's his saddle. Show me. Yeah. Oh yeah! Isn't that great? Right there! <laughs> yeah. I it. didn't even know that. They look like a bit like a mangrove jack, don't they? Uh, put a bit of production line there, mate. Uh, you can have him. Gotta watch these gill plates. You can really see the saddle on that one, look. And I'll put him back. Oh, I've got some sharp bits. Be very careful with them. You want the pliers, mate? Yes. Just want to poke that out for me. Just roll out. Yep. Yeah. They're great hooks. And you can put see him if back. you hold them like that, as Marshy often does, he's not doing anything. Comfort lift. Exactly. And back he goes. Pop him in the water. See ya. Yeah, they swim straight back down again. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh yes, yes. And lots of head shakes there. Any <laughs> surges? Surge. I love it. <laughs> you don't mind if I play through, do you? Nah, mate. Oh, yeah. Getting around it, mate. Hey, how's he coming up? It's another one. Crimson sea perch. Saddle tail. Saddle tail. So first day, Steve. <laughs> it's only the seventh one I've seen in the last three days, but that's all right. A nice one, I like. Oh, big, they're fabulous. Big red eyes. Yeah. All red fish have that certain something about them. People they do. love to catch them. Have that red fish thing. I tell you what, they don't come off these hooks very good. Bite, bite. Just give him a little bit of line. Ooh, that's got some weight. Ooh, hey, there you go. You've gone quiet for about five or seven minutes, and all of a sudden, I just had a fresh piece of bait put on, so there's a bit of blood in the water, a bit of smell, and we've got a nice, solid hookup. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Have a look at that. A beautiful saddle tailed sea perch again. I've never seen a spot so good for them. Unreal adventure safaris can do all sorts of things with you bottom fishing, creek fishing, and after the break, we're going to come back, head out to some of these islands, and show you what the real fish look like here. Now, Marsha, we've been out here for about a week with Jim from Unreal Sport Fishing Safaris. This is the last spot. He won't even tell us what it's called. I know he won't, but I'll tell you what he has told us, that there's big fish here. There's not a lot, but they're big. Yeah, we've heard some stories over the last few days. The last day oh. when you get here, the fish are enormous. I don't really know what to expect. I've got about three lures left, that's it. Same. I'll chug one of them out the back. All Hopefully right. we can keep it before lunchtime, and uh, well, I don't know. We'll probably lose everything, but let's go. All right. With the tide not yet right for trolling, we started by casting white jigs. The action was slow until Jim hooked a small fish. Marshy then tied on a prawn star, sent it down, and hooked the fish of a lifetime. Oh, Marshy, have a look at that. Oh, I'm on two. Oh, I'm off. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> Get locked up, Reef. Oh, these are magnificent fish and they're such hard fighters. You're not wrong. <laughs> I bet you wish you didn't have the bait cast in there. I'm putting you back. Here it comes, here it comes. I've got colour. Oh, look at it! Look at it! They call them golden snapper in some parts of Australia. Okay, is that a finger mark? Yeah. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's a finger mark. <laughs> Didn't you know? That's the dad. Look at that, Steve. That prawn star has slid up there, doing a beautiful job. Yep. It won't fail your line either. They're great. Nah, you ready? This is it. Don't miss that net. Don't oh. miss that net. Oh, will I ever miss a fish like that with the net? Oh, what a beauty! That's up for finger mark. <laughs> you can see why they call them mark. golden snapper now, can't you, in other parts of Australia? <laughs> It's just bronzed up. Look at that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a finger mark. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. In fact, he should be called a finger mark. He should be called a handprint. Look at that tail. Tell me, that tail can't do some damage. That's a beauty. Oh, mate. Pop him back. Yeah. That's fantastic. Look at that. There you go, my old mate. They're pretty hardy. There you go, straight away, straight into the boat. Look, see you later. Once that tide started to flow, it was time to put the trolling lures out and see if Jim really was telling the truth about the size of these fish. Whoa! I was just having a cast of the other rod and now I can't get the rod out of the holder. This is big, it's big. It's on the surface, it could be a mackerel. I've seen it hit too. Did you? Yeah, it was a beauty. That's too fast, Jim. I think we might have dropped it. Yep. Yes, no, yes, no. We dropped it? Oh, no. No. Oh, just a bit too quick of the boat there. Here it is. It's a queenie of epic proportions. Really Have a look at this. Wow, you may not be able to see it yet, but we can. Mate, that is the mother of all queenies. Look at the size of that. Don't lose it. Using that current with advantage. Right, here we go. In the net, mate. In the net, are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't think you'll fit. No, you won't. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my goodness me. He's awesome. He's got two rows of needle sharp teeth. But when you pull back and have a look at the size, that is the biggest queen fish I've ever caught. For sure. Close to one of the biggest I've ever seen. I'm gonna pop him back. What a fight. There we go, I can hardly hold him. See ya mate. Just get yourself together. And he's off. That is something to get excited about here. This place goes off. Oh, he's taking it. Oh, it might be a trip-trip-trip-trip-trip valley. Trip-trip-trip-trip <laughs> valley. Oh, I hate this bit, don't you? You know when your boat's going, you think you've lost it? Yeah, I know. The current here is just so hard to predict. All of a sudden, you think, ah, oh, it's gone, and then rips your arms off on the downward spiral. Hello, what are we here? Oh, it's a GT. Trip, 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 trip valley, that's what real. Ooh, there, there you go. go. Oh, all hey. the fish. <laughs> Look at that, he's hammered that lure. Actually, that's a pretty good GT, you know. Oh. That's not bad, is it? Oh, it's going to be a bit of dentistry for old Margin here, I think. He's had a big go at that one. Not that's bad, not man. bad. Oh, I don't know if I can even get it on. That's a beauty. Have a look at this. He is a beauty. The ATO we kept getting blown away, but not today. Okay, my old mate. Okay, I'm gonna swim him in the current now. Off you go, matey. There he goes. On the top. Back to his rock. Well, Marshy, Jim was right, wasn't he? He said there weren't too many fish, but whatever was here was super big. It was that quality. Was super big too. The biggest queen fish, the biggest finger mark, and now the biggest, well, landed GT yeah. of the trip. <laughs> All at this one spot. You sure you won't tell us a name, mate? No, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, a big well. no. 
I think that's, that's it for Unreal, but uh, it's been an awesome time. Oh, I'm afraid from saying it was Unreal, but it really was. That's why he called it Unreal. <laughs>